வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே வெல்கம் டு அருணாரங்கன்ஸ் கிச்சன் ஃபிளேவர்ஸ் கடவுள் குடியிருக்கும் இடம் கோவில் இதன் அடையாளம் கோபுரம் அதை கண்ணுக்கு எட்டிய தூரத்தில் நின்று வழிபட்டாலும் புண்ணியமே இதனால் எல்லா சந்நிதிகளையும் தரிசித்த பலன் கிடைக்கும் இதை கோபுர தரிசனம் கோடி புண்ணியம் என்பர் அந்த வகையில இன்னைக்கு நம்ம பார்க்க போற கோவில் ஹிமாச்சல் பிரதேஷ்ல மலை பிரதேசத்துல அழகான ஒரு சுத்து வட்டாரத்துல அமைந்த ஹிடிம்பா தேவி டெம்பிளை பத்தி பேச போறோம் இந்த என்டையர் வீடியோவை ஃபாலோ பண்ணுங்க இதை நான் ஃபுல்லா இங்கிலீஷ்ல தான் சொல்ல போறேன் இன்னைக்கு இந்த கோவில நான் வந்து ரொம்ப ரீசெண்டா தான் நான் விசிட் பண்ணினேன் விசிட் பண்ணி பார்த்த போது கண்டிப்பா இதை பத்தி நான் உங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் சொல்லணும்னு ரொம்ப ஆசைப்பட்டேன் ஏன்னா எல்லாருமே விசிட் பண்ணக்கூடிய ஒரு இடம் அது சுத்து வட்டாரமே அவ்வளோ அழகான ஒரு இடத்துல அமைஞ்சிருக்கு ஒரு மலை ஒரு கேவ்குள்ள ஒரு குகைக்குள்ள இருக்கு இந்த கோவில் இதை நம்ம போய் கண்டிப்பா பார்க்கணும் எல்லாருக்கும் எப்ப டைம் கிடைச்சாலும் அவசியம் போய் இந்த கோவில பார்த்து அந்த தேவிய தரிசனம் பண்ணி அவங்களோட பிளெஸ்ஸிங்ஸ கண்டிப்பா எல்லாரும் எடுத்துக்கோங்க வாங்க இந்த கோவில பத்தி இப்ப நிறைய தெரிஞ்சுக்கலாம் ஹிடிம்பி தேவி டெம்பிள் ஆல்சோ நோன் வேரியஸ்லி ஆஸ் த ஹடிம்பா டெம்பிள் இஸ் லொகேட்டட் இன் மனாலி a hill station in the state of Himachal Pradesh in northern India. It is an ancient cave temple dedicated to Hidimbi Devi, wife of Bhima, a figure in the Indian epic Mahabharata. The temple is surrounded by a cedar forest at the foot of the Himalayas. The sanctuary is built over a huge rock jutting out of the ground which was worshipped as an image of the deity. The structure was built in 1553. Maharaja Bahadur Singh built Hidimba Temple in 1553 AD where she used to perform the meditation. It's a perfect blend of heritage and faith. Hidimba Temple is situated amidst snow-covered hills of Manali and the most sought after hill station after the northeast Indian states and is famous for Hidimba Devi Temple footprint. Earlier it was known as Dhungari Temple because it is surrounded by a green lush cedar forest known as Dhungari Van Vihar situated at the foot of the majestic Himalayas. Hidimba Temple has three cross roads one over the other giving it an outlook of three pyramids one over the other which are adorned by timber tiles and on above all of these three pyramids looking cross roads there is another one cone shape shaped brass roof at the top the temple is adorned with 24 meter tall wooden tower above the sanctuary the door has beautiful carvings showcasing the earth goddess durga as in the main theme with other images from lord krishna's life besides navagrahas there are also amazing carvings of dancers animals and other foliate designs the temple base is made up of mud which is whitewashed and covered with artistic stone work inside the temple is an enormous rock with a 3 small inch tall brass image of goddess hidimba the rock itself is worshiped as devi hidimba along with a brass idol there is a hanging rope in front of the rock as per the ancient legend the priest used to tie the hands of the sinners by the rope and swing them against it as penance against their sins to prevent them from misdoings What is the legend behind the temple? Hidimba Devi dates back to the Mahabharata era. She had pledged to marry someone who would defeat her brother Hidim. Hidim was a very brave and fearless demon to be ever defeated by anyone. While Pandavas were in exile, they stayed at Manali for a few days and one day Bhima got entangled with Hidim and killed him in a furious fight. After that, Hidimba as per her pledge married bhima later she gave birth to a son named ghatotkaja who played a very vital role in mahabharata to save arjuna while fighting against kauravas after the exile period was over devi hidimba did not go along with pandavas but stayed back there at manali to do tapasya comprising of meditation prayer and penance to elevate her soul to reach divinity and be a goddess till then she is worshiped 
there in Manali as goddess Hidimba after she left for heavenly abode. Devi Hidimba is one of the river deities of Manali and is worshipped there by locals from ages. She is one of the principal deities of Manali to be worshipped during Navratri by all Manali local people despite worshipping goddess Durga. Said that Hidimba was initially the princess of Nagaland. After the son's birth, she started living in the Manali district of Himachal Pradesh by handing over the son to the Pandavas. It was here that she was transformed from demon cunt to divine cunt. That is why there is an ancient temple of Hidimba here. There is a natural and archaeological rock inside the temple which is believed to be Devi Hidimba's place. On this rock, the footprints of goddess Hidimba are present. Animals were sometimes sacrificed in the temple, but now it has been closed. But even today, the horns of hundreds of animals hang on the walls of the temple. Devotees seek peace in the tranquility of the temple and its surrounding areas. Heading to the jungles nearby and sitting for a few hours is rejuvenating and refreshing. Don't be afraid, you are under the protection of the Devi. Goddess Hidimba guards the forest and its Manali's protector. In fact, she takes care of everyone, say the locals. Thus, their belief and confidence in the spiritual being lies unshaken. People who love white splendor of winter should see the temple during snowfall. The site is breathtakingly beautiful. Imagine standing here at Aarti time and worshipping the gods. The scenic splendor and the ritual are incomparable sights to behold. This can't be missed for anything, so schedule a visit if you are in the area. Whether one is a nature lover, peace seeker or with a sacred heart, Hidimba temple and its terrific surroundings have a lot to offer to all. Friends, until now I had given the detailed description about uh, uh, what is all this Hidimba temple is about. My personal experience I have just shared here, just a small video which I had taken at that time when I visited two, three weeks back. It was uh, drizzling at that moment. The feeling was uh, so pleasant and uh, in a serene atmosphere, the background uh, of the temple was just exemplary. I definitely felt everybody should know about this temple and make a visit to it, at least to enjoy uh, the serene atmosphere there. Please do uh, have a visit and the temple timings, they are open between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And there are a lot of tourist packages that take us to Manali. Definitely plan a visit and do give your comments in the comment section here below. If you like this video, give it a like and definitely share it with your friends and do subscribe to this channel if you have not until now. See you soon with an interesting video. Thank you. Bye-bye.